Hello, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in for the last monthly reading of 2021 or December of 2021. This is Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I just got to tell you something, everybody, something before we start. This is my website. And if you're watching these videos anywhere other than um, Rock and Roll Prophetess YouTube channel, and they're trying to direct you to some other website to purchase readings or something, that it's a scam. Don't fall for it. I am Vicki Verley, and I'm the Rock and Roll Prophetess, and this is my website. Anything other than that is not, it's not me. So, you're, you know, don't, don't get pulled in by scams and, and people that are doing fraudulent uh, things. It was called to my attention recently. But anyways, let's get on to your reading. This is for Leo, uh, excuse me, Cancer, Sun Sign, Rising Sign, or Moon. Um, this is going to be the Rock and Roll Prophetess, uh, Rock and Roll Tarot deck is the first uh, deck we're going to use, the main one. Then we're going to pull a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. Level 2 Patreon people are going to get four clarifying cards from the Songs for the Journey Home deck. I'm going to go with the uh, different format than what I've been using, which is actually my format that I've used for decades. So this reading is going to be two parts. We're going to do a Celtic Cross, and then we're going to continue on for a second part, and we're going to find you in a spread. And I could explain that a little more, I suppose, when we get there. Let me start to shuffle up the cards. This is for Cancer, Sun, Sign, Rising, Sign, and Moon. We are going to... Um, I want to make a quick announcement. Year Ahead readings are going to be ending, but uh, the personal Year Ahead readings will no longer be available uh, at the end of this month of December. So if you haven't got yours yet and you would still like to, you have until the end of the month to get that. And that's on my website, vickiverley.com. <laughs> okay. Don't be fooled by imposters. Because they're out there. The imposters are rampant. Okay, this is the first part of your reading, Cancer. We've got the world. Cross by the tower. You know, the tower's been coming out for people. And we are, we are in eclipse season. That is one of the big things that's happening. So number one, we're in eclipse season. Number two, there's going to be a solstice on the 21st. Eclipse. New Moon Eclipse, December 4th, and Sagittarius. Uh, so, uh, solstice on the 21st. And I, the, Let me, uh, before I move on to the rest of the reading, let's just talk about that for one second here, because you are a cardinal sign. This is actually right, so the cardinal signs are Cancer and Capricorn. They're opposite each other. And then we have Libra and Aries. This is the cardinal cross. You're a part of the cardinal cross here, okay? So this particular solstice is, the, you know, the, the one... For most of the northern hemisphere, this is the winter solstice, and then yours is the summer solstice. So this is the direct opposition to yours. So you, more than uh, some of the other signs, you know, are going to be really more affected uh, by this. And you affected by, but you can also, like, utilize the energy. Okay, continuing with our initial spread, we've got four cups in the past, the magician, crowning, emperor, near future, six of rods, basis, three of swords, six of cups, Justice and then final outcome is the Queen of Cups. This is flipping my brain out here. I don't. I think just about every single reading, uh, pretty much every single reading, it's been going like it's the Knight of the King of Cups. There's a whole bunch of them that the Knight of Cups showed in this position. The last one I did, it, which was Leo's, like I think it was the King of Cups, and yours, it's the Queen of Cups. So every, almost every single reading this month is the final outcome of the initial spread is a cup's court card. This is crazy. Well, you know, it could be you. This could this could represent you, but we're going to find you in the spread elsewhere. This isn't going to be the, the whole reading here. Um, but that is blowing my mind. Well, I mean, it could be you. In, in this case, you're being a water sign, it could be you. But what I, what I forgot to mention in some of the earlier readings, and I've just realized, I, I know Jupiter was going into Pisces, you know, um, in January, but it's actually like the 29th of December, Jupiter's moving into Pisces. And so the final outcome is the Jupiter moving into Pisces, which, by the way, that's going to be so harmonious with you if you want it, because you're a water sign too, and that's a trine energy. So the water signs make a trine. So that's going to be a really nice, um, really nice vibes for you uh, with the, the uh, Jupiter going into Pisces. Much more harmonious than Jupiter and Gemini. Much, uh, potentially much more helpful to you to get things done and accomplish things that you want to do. All right, let's look at the cut spread. First card out, the world. So this is the ultimate. The world is at your feet. You know, there's all kinds. I mean, this, just look at this. The emperor, somebody's taking notice of you or somebody's, you know, acknowledging you and giving you credit or giving you accolades or hiring you or, 
giving you a job. Because of your hard work and what you have done, this has already occurred. So you've already put in this work. You've already put in this you're magician and being powered. And there's some sort of offer coming. But the tower is here, which is so, you know, a different vibe. So the tower doesn't really have to be bad energy. The tower just means a big shakeup. It's got a bad rap. Tower. I mean, let's be honest. Tower has a bad rap. But I can't see how it could be bad surrounded by all this. Some of you may have an opportunity to like travel to another country. Like it's, it could be something that's really going to shake your your world up and really change your life in a big way. Like you'd have to leave everybody behind or something like that. But it's definitely worth doing. Some of you have been through some kind of heartbreak or something like this in the recent. Uh, in, in recent times, but you're going to recapture some kind of an emotional positivity is going to be coming back to you. Um, it could be a person coming back to you, but I really feel more like it's not an actual, somebody left you and they're coming back. It feels more like you coming back to yourself, like you really coming back and finding yourself and really feeling strong and better again and like your old self and like getting your self-respect back and your self-esteem. Some of it has to do, sure, with outside things like the emperor maybe offering you some big position or some big job or some kind of, you know, get, acknowledging you in some way. That's going to help. But it also is really a, a thing from within. We do have the justice card and it is right next to the final outcome here. So some of you, maybe you're going to sign some kind of a contract. Maybe you're going to, if you're, because a magician could be somebody who's, you know, independent contractor in some way. Maybe, maybe you're going to get a book deal if you're a writer or a record contract, if that even means anything anymore, you know, or, you know, something that you've really been vying for that would, uh, you know, end up being where there would be some signing of paperwork. It could definitely be happening. There is going to be, it seems pretty upheaval and pretty drastic, so, um, you know, it's a big shift. It's a paradigm shift is what they're coming through with. And then the final outcome up here, of course, again, is this um, uh, this Knight of Cups. Not Knight of Cups, it's the Queen of Cups. <laughs> I'm going to put paradigm shift. I want to write that down. I think that's a good title. Uh, for what's going on, but you know, it could definitely be, absolutely could be um, good for sure. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start on the uh, second part of the reading. We're going to continue. Now, because you showed up here as the Queen of Cups, you're going to be the King of Cups in this portion of the, when we find you. We're going to find the King of Cups, and there's no gender in this reading, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're female. If you say, well, I'm not the King of Cups. In this reading, you're going to be the King of Cups, okay? Uh, if I were doing a personal reading, yeah, we would stick to your regular, uh, you know, whatever you identify as. I'm not reading any of these cards, but if you, under if you understand tarot or if any words pop out at you, you absolutely can, uh, you know, use your own intuition to, you know, look at some of these cards if it's, if it's ringing some bells for you over there. But um, I'm going to start one more row, I guess. Where are you, King of Cups? There's a Knight of Cups. Where are you, King of Cups? Oh, we're getting pretty far into this spread. <laughs> Don't forget that I still have these uh, your head readings available for there you are for a short time, and also there are some you know general year head readings uh, pay per view you can check out too. Okay, finally here we are. All right, so yeah, again, you you do have the death card showing right next to you. You do have the swords, you know, uh, seven of swords on the other side. So in order to make this leap, there are going to be things that you're going to have to cut some ties, and some things are going to be left behind. The devil is above you, so there is this bondage energy, and uh, you know it may not end well for some of these relationships. Somebody might not want you to go, or somebody might not. You know that doesn't seem like. It doesn't really seem like it's gonna. It's gonna be just. Oh, okay. Everything changes and, and everybody's cool with it. It seems like there's some. There is some things that are gonna have to be. You're gonna have to become untangled from. That's what I'm getting. Some entanglements that are gonna have to be released and and and, and, and let go of. This is. A, it looks like such an opportunity though. This is above you here. I mean, you've got Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. So it's it's good. It's a new beginning in money, but it's also something that brings you a lot of joy and happiness. And you've got the, your dreams are coming true. And the and nine of pentacles, you know, major, you know, financial um, stability. And you know, again, just being in a great place with money and things like that. This is you know, there's been, 
couple indications here that higher forces, angelic or whatever you want to call it, spirit guides have been helping and working on you. One is a very important connection in the form of the Queen of Rods. Possibly male or female. Remember, there's no gender in this, so don't. it does not have to be a female. But fire sign energy, a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. This could absolutely be uh, talking about that new moon eclipse in the sign fire sign of Sagittarius. Now that's occurring again on, if I hadn't mentioned it, there's an eclipse on December 4th in the sign of Sagittarius. So could be happening around there. Although we have three fives right in a row. Five of rods, five of cups, oh, and a six. So it might be more like the fifth or the sixth when this rolls in here. This is a very important person that you've known in a past life, and there is a very strong connection here. This talks about paying off karmic debts, and the things that show up around this judgment card always have like a deeper connection, a deeper implications. There's something more kind of going on, and it's, it's not. There's more than meets the eye. There's there's deeper things happening. Maybe you're going to be a coworker or a neighbor or this or that. You know. The relationship may not be like your in most intimate partner, but there's other things there's other things happening beneath the surface on a soul level that has brought this person into your life, especially around this time of year, you know with these eclipses and everything. another thing that's going to be happening early next year is the nodes are changing signs, so we really are kind of getting this big paradigm shift i mean that's that's definitely happening for everybody, but it certainly looks like you're really uh you know you're really um doing it. Big changes. Big changes. I'm not going to lie. You know, it looks like it's going to be some big changes. But if that's something that you're wanting, then yay. Yay cancer. Yay for you, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and move over to the animal totem. All right, let's get our animal totem card for our cancer friends for the month of December of 2021. Cancer animal totem. Sorry, my dog is crying over there. Cancer, if you can hear him. Is it like that I'm in the kitchen late at night? I'm at my table over here in the, late at night. I'm usually not. We're usually in the living room or bedroom at night. He doesn't like me. This is upsetting his son. It's ups he doesn't like this big change that's happening here. Okay, you got the snake energy. That's Kundalini. Um, it's all about the Kundalini rising. It's also about shedding your skin. And I also want to note that you ended up being in this part of the reading. You ended up as the king because the queen showed up here. So the king is the most evolved. You know, this is like you really coming into yourself as I was picking up earlier. You know, you, you're really, you're shedding the skin to emerge as this, you know, your fully, uh, your fully evolved self. Okay, Quetzalcoatl, Shisha, Seraphim, Ophion. These are gods. Uh, snake gods, kundalini activation, carnal knowledge, portal to awakening to primal chi medicine. The new you is emerging now. Yeah, the new you, but not the new you in the way of a newborn babe. The new you in the way of really being the master of your domain. You know, really coming up to, you know, this, this card can mean that too. Like these are all your past lives. And even if you don't believe in reincarnation, these can be the past versions of you in this life. You know, and then this is like the best version of you. Living your best life. Maybe I should put that instead of a uh, paradigm shift. <laughs> Let me put that down. Living your best life. Yeah, I mean, really coming into your own in a really fully way. You know, and some people that you meet also, you know, in a more a more evolved kind of way of relating to people and you know just feel it's a very good energy it feels really good out of the drama you know you've taken that high road and, and getting out of the drama okay again if if you're watching this anywhere else besides youtube rock and roll prophetess this is my website don't be fooled and led to some other website from my videos i want to do one final thing about independent creators i myself am an independent creator as you can see these are a few of my notebooks and journals that are available on Amazon. You can find the links on, on my website or elsewhere. And I've wrote, written several books. This is my latest. You know, it's a spiritual channeled messages book. But it's not only me. You know, uh, instead of you know worrying about big corporations and everything this year that don't pay taxes, um, why not support independent creators for the holiday season? If uh, you know, there's many on Etsy or Instagram or even at your local you know, church bazaar or craft fair or your local, you know, independently owned, you know, brick and mortar store, 
you know, why not consider that when purchasing your gifts for the holiday season, if not from me, from another independent creator. Uh, these are showing up to be quite blue. They're not blue at all. They're all different colors, but this is some of my um, artwork from, I've posted, I just, I opened this account in 2015, but I never used it, and I just this week put some, uh, some of my paintings up there. Fine Art America is a great company. They do high quality prints. You have a, you can do small prints, poster size prints. Uh, my art's kind of way out there, so they're really spiritual, uh, you know, uh, interdimensional art. So if you think you might be into it, you could check some of that out. Canvas prints. I mean, they have every kind of print, and it's very high quality, and they're a very reputable company. So check that out if you're interested. The next time, the next part we're going to do is the Patreon people. We're going to put some significators around you and get a little bit more insight. But in the meantime, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and supporting my channel in all the ways you do, from liking, sharing, and commenting, and hitting that subscribe button. That really helps to promote me and get the word out about my channel. I am the original YouTube tarot reader. I was the first person to ever do this format, and um, I know it's taken off and there's hundreds, maybe even thousands of people doing it now, but I was the first one that did this, and so I do appreciate your report, uh, report, that's funny I said that, support. <laughs> so check out my website, thank you for tuning in, thank you for having, uh, showing up and for me all these years and this year, and I'm looking forward to into next year of 2022. I do have the pay-per-view readings for 2022, and I have the personal ones, so Check that out if you're interested as well. Remember your love and beauty incarnate. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Have the best one ever. Powerful eclipse and solstice. We'll see you again in the new year.